Hello and what is up people, uh, today I'm, I'll be talking about the new team that I've got, uh, so as you might have seen, I've already posted one battle already, from the PBL, the PBL is a new draft league uh, which I joined, uh, I joined it previous season as well, but this season I tried to, well do YouTube, so I, I don't know, I, w I wanted to share my battles with you, but uh, I already did that battle and I said that I would make uh, a team build, well, the team itself that I have, and so I'm gonna share that right now. Uh, that's pretty much it, honestly. I hope uh, I should bring this video out before the second week's battle. I will uh, put the second week's battle next week, normally on Friday. Uh, should be done then. And then next week, next week, uh, a few weeks after that, you'll see old battles. Not all battles are gonna be on the 3DS though. Like uh, my opponents don't always prefer uh, 3DS, which is fine, which is completely fine. So some of them will be done on Showdown, which I totally respect. All right, that's it. Uh, let's get to it. So uh, I'm going into draft order, and first off, I picked Mega Diancy. Why did I pick Mega Diancy? Mega Diancy is a strong fairy rock type Pokemon, which is just overall really great. Because it has potential to set up, it has magic bounce, which is a great ability in itself. It has the access to stud rocks, but look at the, that attack stat and that special attack stat. Absolutely amazing. Uh, it only needs like two, it's two stats to mainly chunk a lot of opponents teams. It has hit, access to hidden power, which is great as well, because it's uh, a special attacker as well. Diamond Storm is a great move because you can get a double increase in your defense, which is great. Uh, Moonblast just hits hard. Power Gem if you want to go special. You've got Rock Polish, you've got Calm Mind. Mega Diancy is one of those Pokemon that are great. The only downside to it is its base HP, which is fine. Uh, but like overall sweeper after I've taken care of like Scarves and stuff like that, Mega Diancy is a good pick to try and sweep the rest of the opponent's team. So that's why I picked it. Uh, strong fairy move. Mo fairies are pretty strong. Uh, steel types can't really switch into it because of earth power. Uh, Hidden power fire is also great, for example, for scissor switch ins or something like that. So it's a great Pokemon on its own. So Mega Diancy, I picked that first. Uh, it's a tier 1 as well, and it's my Mega Pick. Because uh, I really wanted it, because last season I didn't have it and I missed it so much. And I really love playing with Mega Diancy. Next up, we've got the Celesteela. That was my second pick. Uh, why Celesteela? Because I wanted an earthquake resist and I wanted a steel type. And uh, with Celesteela, I have these two things covered. Celesteela has also quite a bit of range in moves it has. Like Leech Eat, Heavy Slam, Flatter, Air Slash, yes. You've got a Giga Drain as well. You've got Energy Ball. You can go Sweeper with it, with uh, Autotomize. Uh, even Rock, well, not certainly Rock Polish. But. It has a lot of options and it's a great wall, it's a great offensive mod as well with the ability Beast Boost, uh, Leech Seed Protect, it is just there to annoy the the heck out of people which is great. It has a good uh, good stats, the only stat is lacking is speed but like with things with Autotomize for example, double uh, doubling that speed is actually super great. Uh, so yeah, that's why I wanted Celestia because it covers uh, a lot of the things that Niancy is weak to. Uh, next up, I really wanted something because I saw someone pick Coco and I was looking at all the tiers and next up I saw like a few good low tiers which I really liked personally. Uh, the best low tier in tier 5 in my honest opinion was Piloswine. Why Piloswine? Piloswine has a great ability called Take Fat which resist makes it with ice and fire moves. Uh, it's typing is quite good and with Eviolite it's defense and special defense boost uh, times two which is absolutely mad because like uh, Pilot Swine just has already a lot of base HP, defense is 80 and just with Eviolite it makes it a great wall, uh, makes it so so I can get up my rocks, uh, good rock setter and Earthquake and Iso Crash are two really good stab moves uh, that forces really switches. Uh, if you can't kill it for certain, it will chunk you good. Certainly with a 100 base attack, which is not that great, but like it for still forces switches, you know. Uh, Eye Shout is great for priority. It also gets access to the screens, which is also good. So, yeah, 
Uh, I really like Palace One. Also, Oblivious, it, Oblivious is also quite great. You can get told to get my rocks up and stuff like that, which uh, I like personally as well. And also the design. Look at that design. It's great. It's superb. Next up, we've got Primarina. We've got a tier three. Uh, I wanted a water type. I wanted a good water type, and Primarina is, in my opinion, a good water type because it can uh, do a lot of damage as well. It has a lot of access to moves. It has Skull, Moonblast, Ice Beam, Psychic, Hidden Power, uh, Energy Ball. Like it can cover a lot of stuff. Its speed is like Lost, but it's HP and Special Attack and Special Defense. Just hit save this a lot, which is just great. Um, I really liked using it in the first match. Uh, you guys might have seen that, which is also great to see. Next up, we've got a good, 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 good low tier. Because I really, really wanted it, but like I, wa I wanted first to have like a base idea of the team, and uh, I picked it then. Uh, Hoopa Confide. So this season, Hoopa Confide became a tier four. Hoopa Confide is hella scary. Certainly, uh, with its special attack from 150, its special defense from 130, which is great for tier four, and just to chunk a lot like go psychic moves uh, hit hard like dark all right dark can kill you which is fine but like shadow ball psychic energy ball focus blast those are great moves and just great to chunk people like uh, 70 base isn't that bad uh, it's not the greatest but like you I can work with it it should be fine uh, so yeah Hoopa confined I really wanted to use it so here it is Hoopa confined next up we've got the drug again Drodigan is actually one of those Pokemon that I really become to like. Like in my first black playthrough, I didn't like it. I didn't like its design. I didn't like anything about it. But re in recent years, I've become to like it because it can take so much. Its special defense and defense are great. Its HP is good. Its attack, is, uh, he can also deal a good damage with 120 base attack, and just rocks glare. Uh, Dragon Claw, Fire Punch, Earthquake. He has three great abilities: Rough Skin, Mole Breaker, Shear Force. Mole Breaker just for levitating, Earthquake or something like that, which is just great. And um, for Tier Four, certainly worth it. Uh, so I really wanted him. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it about Dragon. Dragon also has access to Pursuit and stuff. Dragon Tail is also great to have uh, to for switches, Roar if needed. So yeah, it's a good mom. I really like it. Next up, we've got Rotomo, and I see that I've put it in the wrong tier, I think. Is it tier 4? No, it is. Oh, my bad. Wait. Oh, yeah. Dredigan is in tier 4, then it's tier 5, probably. My bad, then. Uh, any case, we've got Rotomo. Uh, Rotom is always a great Pokemon, and I wanted something that could deal with water types effectively as well. So, uh, Rotomo, actually, with its two stabs, deal with it, deals with it great. And Volt Switch gives me the Switch Initiative, and it has the access to Defog, which is also great at uh, this gen. So, just to get rid of rocks and stuff, uh, which is very needed, certain, or just has its removal. Uh, Lee Storm isn't the greatest, in my opinion, but like, I needed the typing, I needed an electric type as well. It has access to Will O Wisp as well, uh, Trick, just to make sure the bulky Pokemon get tricked into one move as well. It has decent amount of stats, uh, too bad about its HP, but like it's a great Pokemon, it has Levitate as well, so another thing to switch in into Earthquakes is always great to have. Next up, I've got the Metagross. Metagross is a tier 3 Pokemon, it is, like I know. Uh, it's an overall good Pokemon, like uh, Mega Metagross make, makes it not used as much, meta, uh, regular Metagross, but Metagross is a good Pokemon. Clear body, great ability, unable to drop its stats which is great it has medium mass and have a ton of bunch ice prince earthquake a lot of uh, like just good moves that it like it just hits hard with um, a lot of great stats as well like all the stats are good like even the lowest stat which is speed is still relatively good so to say so I can't really complain about Metagross also Metagross gives the access also to stealth works again it's quite bulky pursuit as well so I'm really wanting to use him as well. Next up, we've got Milotic. Milotic is a good Pokemon. I want another, a water type that could heal, because water types are actually quite good. And Milotic has uh, good abilities, Marvel Scale and Competitive mainly. 
which are just great to use. Its special attack is decent, special defense is certainly great. His defense is like Ruster a whip, but with Marvel still a uh, Marvel scale flame up, it's quite great because the defense raises and then just it has a lot of move well it has decent amount of moves that it needs to have and recovery is just great to have on its own. So yeah, that's my oil trick. It doesn't need too much explaining. Next up we've got Conkeldor. I really like Conkeldor. I really do. Uh, it's because uh, for probably because uh, first time I watched uh, YouTube on with Pokemon like uh, Spockles used to use him a lot like he was an old YouTuber, Poketuber, uh, which I used to enjoy. It has a lot of HP, it has a lot of attack, it's just it has great ability three great abilities. Rain punch, mag punch for ice punch, knock off poison jet. Just hits incredibly hard, which I definitely like. It's slow, but it's fine. It's like I'm not like, it's fine, but give it an Assault Fest or whatever, give it a Figgy Berry or whatever, give it a Drain Punch, it can outlive so many things sometimes. And just thanks to that base HP and base defense, which is great to have. So I really like Conkeller, it has access to priority as well, Mark Punch is great to use, it has all the punching moves, which is also great, Knock Off as well. So yeah, that's also great. Uh, so that's my second tier 2 pick. Well, we're going off into our third tier 3 pick, which is Diggers Bido, or quick hitting below, you know it. Oh man, I wish I didn't say that, but yeah, anyway, Diggers B, like looking at the stats, they're pretty shite, let's be honest. But there's one redeeming quality that makes Diggers B great, and that is huge power. Huge power, doubling the attack of Diggers B, which is actually super great, because it gets U-turn as well, it has decent speed. Uh, and with huge power, it has good attack, a good earthquaker, uh, a, just a good punching mom as well, and having access to U-turn next to my Rotom is also great to have. Uh, then next up, we've got my Z-move pick, which is the Water MZ. Uh, most of it, I'll probably use it more offensive than anything else. Hydro Vortex is a great move to have. I could use Z Rain Dance so or Z Soak, uh, Z Soak raising the Spadef and stuff, but like. Mm, I don't know. I'll, I'll look into it uh, if I want to use it. But yeah, that's my Z move then. And then I'll show you my squat. So, this is the squat. This is the entire squat. Oh, wow, it's super laggy now suddenly. Before it went real well. But anyway, you'll see it now. So, we've got uh, like Diancy and Celestia like there. Like, I, in my honest opinion, I like every mon that I have. Like, I don't think there's one weak Pokemon that I don't like. Uh, so,. I'm really, really want, uh, wondering how well I will do in this league. Uh, I hope you guys will support me with this. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If there's uh, yeah, if there's anything you want to tell me, any strat of a Pokemon that you want me to use, I might consider it if you put it in the comments. Like I actually will, because like I'm very, you can convince me very easily. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you would. Please leave a like. Thank you very much. Bye bye.